All right, so let's dive into it for today. Decisions. As gym owners, we make a ton of them all the time. Some of them are easier than others. Should we program bench press or shoulder press? It's probably going to be an easy one. Should we raise our rates or fire a client? Those decisions, on the other hand, not so easy to make. Now, before I continue, I wanna talk about the fact that making hard decisions, or some decisions in general, is never going to be easier. And it doesn't matter how many strategies or tactics you have, sometimes making decisions is just hard. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna talk about a couple of strategies and tactics that I use to make sure that I'm making the right decisions every single time. Not necessarily the easy ones, but the right ones for myself and for my gym. And I call it the three lenses. So the first lens that we're gonna take a look at is the lens of why. Now, why is sometimes referred to as a vision statement or a mission statement, um, or sometimes even a purpose. Either way, regardless of what you call it, it's basically what your gym does to move forward. The greater purpose or the kind of down the road type thing that you're looking for for your gym to succeed at. It's literally why it exists, right? The why. So does this decision align with your why? Yes or no? It's a pretty easy answer at that point. If it does, great, move forward. If it doesn't, well, squash it. The next lens that I bring all my decisions through is the lens of values. So at Tradewinds, we have three values, and that's ambition, integrity, and teamwork. So whenever I have a decision to make, I bring it through those three lenses, right? Those, those three values. Does it meet with our value of ambition, which is to take action? Does it meet with our value of integrity, which is to do the right thing, not necessarily the easy thing? And lastly, does it meet teamwork? Do, does it help us work together to be stronger together instead of trying to go at this alone? Sometimes we struggle with understanding whether or not our decisions can align with our why or our values. Typically what this means is that you don't understand your why or your values enough. They're not concrete enough. So I suggest you take some time to look at that. Last but not least, we have the lens of focus. Now, calling it the focus lens is twofold. One, it's the last lens, so it really helps us narrow down and decide and make the final decision. But secondly, basically what it means is it's what your gym focuses on to be better than the other gyms in your area. Some people call this a value proposition or differentiating factor. If you've ever read Mike Michalowicz's book, Clockwork, he calls it a QBR or Queen B role. Basically, this is the thing that your gym focuses on so that you succeed. And if you were to do nothing else but this one thing, your gym could still survive. But without this, your gym would basically crumble and it would fall apart. So at Tradewinds, ours is to create moments for our clients that put them as the hero of their story. That's our, our focus. So the question is, does your decision pass through this third lens and come out the other side whole? If not, well, then you probably shouldn't do it. Now I know that going through the three lenses can seem a little daunting when you're faced with a million decisions every single day. It gets easier the more you do it and we'll use an example right now so that I can kind of give you some guidelines. So let's talk about firing our client. It's never an easy decision. Well, let's say this client, while you know they can kind of be a pain in class, I mean, who isn't, right? Um, and while you know they're not your avatar client, not every single one of your clients is going to be your avatar client. But at the same point, you've talked to a couple of your team members and they get anxiety when they have to coach a class that that client's in. Or you've heard that client talking to other uh, clients and really it just starts to create forms and, and clicks and, and just you start to see something festering inside the gym that you're just not happy about. So let's bring firing this client through the different lenses. We'll use Tradewinds My Gym as an example uh, just so that you can have kind of an, a thing to go off of um, and then we'll take it from there. So the lens of why. So the why of Tradewinds, right? Part of that is to create a community of like-minded people. If I've got a client in the gym that's literally trying to like, sh like uh, create clicks or that does not interact with other people in the same way and is standoffish to other people while being friendly to others, that doesn't foster that kind of community that we're looking for. So that's a red flag right there. Next, we go through our value of lenses, right? We've got ambition, integrity, and teamwork. Well, this client's definitely not a team player, right? They're definitely not doing anything to help out the gym or make our coaches' lives easier. Not that every client needs to do that, but you get the point. So while they're not in direct opposition to any of our values, it's still, again, definitely a red flag. 
So last but not least, we have the lens of focus. And as I discussed, the focus of trade winds is to create moments for our clients. This client has no desire to have moments made for them. When you try talking to them, they just brush you off. So that's a challenge right then and there. Not only that, but their negative attitude and just the way that they talk can sometimes put off other clients in class. So that's taking away from the moments that we can create for those clients just because we have this one client in class. So based on all that, it may come down to the fact that they're not an avatar client, they do not express teamwork, and they are trying to rip apart the community, not on purpose, but they're doing things that could tear it apart in the long term. Honestly, if it was trade wins, my decision would be to fire the client. Now, of course, you need to make your own decisions, but I hope that going through this exercise of taking your decision through these through three lenses helps you make the right decision for your gym and for you. Again, these decisions aren't always easy and they're never gonna get easier. But by having these three lenses in place, what it does is it helps you understand and be at peace with yourself knowing that the decision you made was the right one for the future of your gym and for you. If understanding your why, even your personal why and your personal values and learning to cope with some t difficult decisions that you've made in the past is something that you struggle with, schedule a discovery call. I'd love to hop on a phone, on the phone and dig a little bit deeper into what's really nagging at you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell. Go on our mailing list because why not? And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much.